Hey Tripod Warrior, you uh, dropped my cigar. I don't have a cigar this video. Um, uh, but I want to do a quick, 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 quick training on LinkedIn. Um, as Gary V says, LinkedIn has become over the last six to nine months like Facebook. It is finally reaching its potential as the Rolodex, not for just people who, you know, want to say they went to Harvard and they work at Goldman, nothing wrong with that for sure, um, but it's about people who are the deal economy out there looking for deals, doing deals, real estate investors, um, financing experts of all kinds, and it's really, I, I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars through LinkedIn, most of my connections, I'd say 80, 90%. And then of course there's people you've done business with and the essence of social media is people get familiar with your message, they get familiar with you, and it's about building that relationship. So like Gary Vee says, he yells at um, CEOs of five, Fortune 500 companies to invest in um, Facebook and Instagram, and then he comes to an event and he yells at people and doesn't charge them millions of dollars to invest in Facebook and Instagram um, and he says the price is going up because more and more people are either listening to him or starting to get it and the biggest hurdle for the 500 fortune 500 CEOs is realizing that you can't just use the um, ROI formula for social it's about building your brand not about asking for the sale right so when I send a message out on LinkedIn you know I just literally say to people how are you that's it no, hey, I can help you with real estate financing and equity financing, and I'm Thomas Armstead and I have 30 years experience. How are you? I'm great. How's it going? Where you where you're at? Oh, I see that you're in um, St. Louis. You know, I see that you're in LA. I see that you're in Texas. How's the weather? Uh, and then, you know, maybe after a few conversations, back, oh, what exactly is it that you do? I see that, um, what is the, you know, they have a title and it's like, what is that? But what's your industry? I just spoke to a guy who he said he, um, he mentioned doors and I thought he meant hotels, which I financed. And he said, no, I, I installed doors. Right, and I'm like, oh, okay, great. That's interesting. That's a business where <laughs> you're always gonna have somebody who needs a door, right? So, you know, it's about building that relationship and he may not hear from me for months, right? Months and months and months, or weeks and weeks and weeks at the very least. And after getting my message of hello, how are you? How's it going? Literally just shooting the breeze or talking about sales. Some of the best conversations I have on LinkedIn are people, we're just talking about sales and marketing and business and the nuances because we appreciate and respect the craft and the science and the art of sales and business. And it's really about building that relationship. And of course, you you may be in a situation where you need deals, right? Like I have over 13,500 connections on LinkedIn at this point. And, you know, bosses and CEOs, they don't really get social yet. They don't understand that you're sending out messages just saying, hey, how are you? And, you know, that's what it's about. So in terms of what I do on LinkedIn, I send out about three or four hundred messages per day. How are you? How you doing? How's it going? How did this work out? How did that work out? Um, I haven't used Sales Navigator, which some people swear by, and I want to get into Sales Navigator. I don't think it's worth it to really pay for a LinkedIn premium at this point, where you can connect to people um, who you're not connected to already. I just don't think it's worth it to send out, to pay for, to send out 20, 30 targeted messages, maybe in the future. Um, being a part of groups and speaking in the groups and commenting on the groups and LinkedIn is very, very, especially recently, very, very sensitive about spamming. So if you have like a meme, it can have a saying, like a positive saying, but it can't like have your name like I was doing. I got banned from LinkedIn for one day. Um, the whole photo thing, I used to have the company logo and they were like, no, and I literally had to send them my driver's license um, so they know it was me. And you know, that's not a problem. Um, video, of course, is critical. And hence, I'm doing this video and the videos I have on YouTube up to about 60 at this point. Um, and it's just giving, 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 giving away the knowledge of 30 years. It's about being social. 
It's about, you know, posting videos, memes, commenting, being a part of the dialogue, giving your experience away, your knowledge. And a lot of people are like, well, I can't do that because I need, I need to make the sale. If you're happy with your sales, then fine, don't do it. If you want to grow your sales, you have to be social. It, and even if the people get the message and it's like, hey, how are you, right? Which nobody does, basically. Um, it's like with Twitter is the worst where everyone's just talking about what they do, what they do, and instead of commenting on helping people. It's about being consultative, it's about being social, it's about truly being interested in helping people. Even if you don't know these people, if you can say, oh, have you tried this, have you tried that, do you know about this, do you know about that? And when you mention things that people don't know about that relate to their industry, their job, their business, like, you stand out. And so it might be months from when they hear from you again and they scroll up and down and they see that conversation. Oh, we got Thomas Armstead. Okay, I remember. I had a good conversation with this guy. Conversation, right, through LinkedIn. Um, and that LinkedIn basically gives you about 50 different ways to pick up the phone. So sometimes I'll call people and I need to, just, to do this more if I have the time. Uh, thankfully, I'm busy. Um, you know, somebody endorses you. Pick up the phone. Hey, I want to thank you for your endorsement. Okay, yeah, what do you do? I do this, but I'm really calling to, you know, just thank you because every, you took out a second to endorse me for something, and I really appreciate that. Okay, what do you do? Okay, I do this. What do you do? How can I help you grow? That's another one. How can I help you grow? Well, you, I, this is what I need. I need X, Y, and Z. I need A, B, C. Oh, I know this person. Connecting people is a huge aspect of being social where it's like you're not asking for anything in return oh you should talk to this person and then that person who you made the referral to like they're like thomas armstead referred me to this person you refer them to that person so think about linkedin in terms of the groups being social connecting to people actually being interested in what they do and how you can help them and asking them questions like i haven't i used to be on quora and Quora is very interesting um, when you, and the same applies for LinkedIn or any social, when you answer somebody's question, you stand out. They know your name and it might lead to a sale, but it's part of being social. There's no direct ROI, but if you believe that social media is the powerful tool that it is, you will invest that time. But there's nothing like picking up the phone and dialing and saying, hey, we're connected on LinkedIn. I wanted to find out more about what you're doing. And but not being too social where people are just like,